<laughs> well, Ruthie can't. <laughs> Uh, no, we, we shot uh, we shot it so well tonight. Uh, Arizona State uh, typically is among the best in the conference and sometimes in the nation at field goal percentage defense. I just thought we were getting really good opportunities tonight. We we concentrated on getting the ball inside more, and uh, and were able to hit a few from from three. We didn't shoot many of them, I don't think, but uh, that was a good all round game. I, I wish we would have finished a little better in the second and the fourth quarters, but I thought in the first and the third. We played about as good as we've played all year. Is there a common thread to the last two third quarters and what you guys are saying at halftime? Or what are you no, no. I mean, we, we didn't really adjust much. You know, we uh, just tried to remind them that you can't let Ibis duck in so deep and then turn over her right shoulder. I just thought defensively we were so much better in the second half, and especially in that third quarter. We seemed to be dialed in. and. We were a little, little slow getting out on 22 on a couple of threes and just lost some focus, I thought. But uh, that third quarter, we came out laser focused defensively. Lexi was held scoreless. Was that just because of the way that they played her? Yep. And that's fine. That's a lot of court to leave open for Sabrina, Maite, and Ruthie and Satu. You know, so uh, even when Lexi isn't getting her shots, she is, she's got somebody sitting in her lap. And like I said, that opens up a lot of the rest of the court. You know, she'll, she'll have nights like that. And it seems to happen in the Pac-12. It's a feast or famine. Those that really want to focus on shutting her down, we don't run a ton of stuff for her, nor do we want to. We didn't really need to tonight. We've talked about this many times, but it seems like Sabrina is a tone setter and can kind of set the tone in terms of your offense. And your she did. Yeah, she did. Another big first quarter from her. Uh, you know, she, she's smart, man. I'll tell you, she, she knows when we need her, and she knows what big games are about, and um, she always seems to step up and play her best in those moments. Uh, Ruthie went with her tonight. I thought it was great to see. I thought Satu had a really nice night, too. Played very under control and uh, showed a variety of different uh, um, parts of her game tonight, I thought. Great pass to Ruthie. We did a good job looking for Ruthie. She only had five shots the other night, and that was an emphasis to try and get her more and better looks. But yeah, Sabrina, she sets that tone. That's a, she's a table setter. She's Lenny Dykstra, man. <laughs> sets the table. I'm, that's a reference probably way too old for some <laughs> of you rookies out here. Some of us know it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> nothing magical. I mean, we, we seemed to pr pretty calm for the most part at, at halftime today. Uh, Mark got a little, not, not annoyed, but he, he got into it a little bit defensively. I think we just challenged him. That's all. We just challenged him. You know, we built a nice lead. We're playing so well, and then we just kind of let them back in. And you can't do that against a good team. I mean, they... Arizona State's really good. And I remember at the 5.30 timeout uh, there at the end in the fourth quarter, and it was 20-something at that point, I said, you guys, they will play hard until the buzzer. And they did, you know, and tightened it up. I was never really worried, but they tightened it up, and that's what they do. She's got a great team, and they play really, really hard. I, I give them a lot of credit. The, uh, the home court energy tonight from the crowd. I thought the crowd was amazing. Yeah, it, it was so loud, and there were times when uh, I think they really helped us. They really helped us. I thought at the defensive end tonight, uh, when we needed that lift, they, they were standing. I mean, this is a smart fan base, too. They know. They understand the game, and, and uh, I, I can't thank them enough. And I, I hope they keep coming. We have five more home games left. So, you know, they need to come out and support this group. Is that your birthday wish to get a W? <laughs> you know what? Always the best present ever. I mean, Coaches, we're, most of us are pretty shallow, I think. And, you know, we don't want much. But if we do play a game on our birthday, that's the best thing that they can give us. It truly is. And in a, on a day like this, against another ranked team and a really good team and a team that we're going to be battling with for the top spot, uh, to come out and do this is the best, best ever. So I want to thank the team, thank the fans, thank you guys. I didn't get anything from you guys, but, you know. Same thing got me last year. <laughs> now, is this your fifth, sixth, or seventh 29th birthday? 
Oh, uh, see, I'm not into that. I'm 55. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. The significance of 55, it's the highest jersey number that can be worn in college basketball. So that's what I am today. I'm, I, I feel great. I feel like I'm 30, and uh, I'm really proud of the team. I love working with these guys. They keep you young. If you want to stay young in this world, work with kids and young people. It's the uh, best job in the world. Oh, I've said that for years. I, maybe Dana took it from me, oh, that man. turkey. No, he didn't. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, I, I would love to, to uh, be as good a coach as Dana, that's for sure, and I'll steal anything that he says. Uh, but it's the truth. You know, I think she just, uh, you know, once in a while she gets like that, tries to make the spectacular play instead of just whatever we were doing was working, let's keep riding that. But she does it because she, she just tries so hard. I mean, she truly does. You can't fault her for that. Is my take kind of a nice counterbalance to that? Is she kind of a calming influence? Thank you, Austin. Yeah, she was terrific tonight and has been for our entire league season. She is that calming influence. I think we talked about it the other day. She's our rock, that kid that you can always lean on. And she's shooting the ball well. She's attacking the basket. She's the most patient player I've ever coached in the pick and roll. And she's so good in that. And uh, you saw her defensively really shine at times tonight too. So just a, a really well-rounded Superb player. Coach, this isn't the first time this season we've seen Ruthie have a perfect night shooting from the field. What is it about her game do you think that allows her to get into those rhythms? Well, she has teammates that are getting the ball so she can just catch and score. I mean, there were a few times tonight where she had to make uh, some kind of a combination move, uh, and she did well. What I'm proud of is she's not just going over the same shoulder every time. She's diversifying her game a little bit, and I think that's helping her. Uh, but she's doing her work early. She's just basically catching and scoring. And let's face it, a couple of those give and goes and those little dump off passes from Sabrina and Maite and one from Satu, that's good basketball. She just has to catch the ball. <laughs> the rest is easy. And uh, yeah, I'm really proud of Ruthie. She, she keeps improving.